Hello boys and girls, I'm Dill, and welcome back to Helm's Deep. Um, I think it's fair to say that my most popular videos on this channel are all Helm's Deep related. So I'm glad to uh, show you a quote-unquote new, I think it's about, I think it's been out for a couple weeks now, but this is a new Helm's Deep map. This is Helm's Deep Expanded. This is made by the one and only Got you, with some help from Sean Power, I might add. And, um, hmm. You know, I think Rivendell might be the most complete faction in the game, and I'll get into that later while I've got nothing else to say. But, uh, I think they've actually got one of the best freaking uh, spellbooks, too. Like, I don't think there's a single power on here that I don't like. I think all allied units gain damage and... Okay, this is like Elven Word. It's like generic, but not bad. I think there... Yeah, no, there's not a single bad power for the Elves. Damn, they're good. Okay. Anyway, we got a lot to talk about. I'll try not to talk too fast. Um, no promises. But uh, yeah, this is the brand new Helm's Deep map. Um, this is made by Got Human Sean Power. And um, I think I'm going to get wrecked because you're meant to turn off... Um, you're meant to turn off ring heroes. And I, th I didn't actually check. Um, so I think I actually left it on. Um... So this could be the hard version, and I've never actually played the hard version before, so I... I might get wrecked, who knows, and I know you guys always uh, enjoy seeing me get wrecked. Um, but yeah, if that happens, then it happens. But um, yeah, this is just... Um, uh, this is actually a co-op defense of Helm's Deep. You got this whole extra area for the second player, but you can play it uh, solo. And you're up against potentially three enemies, and a whole bunch of... Um, there's like three enemies, so you can do PvP, but um, in addition to this, there's actually like uh, scripted AI to enter the map and just harass you. Um, so there's so there's like more than what you're you know dealing with. Um, I'm up against two brutal Isengards today. We should probably get our freaking forge, shouldn't we? I'm up against two brutal Isengards today. Not three because I don't want to be here all freaking day. And uh, I know as I say that, Gorim's probably laughing. Is or um, Kicking his head back laughing because I'm such a nub. Uh, we're gonna go Arwen. How much money we got? Uh, we'll go Strider. And we go Gildor. Great or small Gildor. Alright, we we'll got the Lodge, or whatever the hell it's called. Um, I don't like building in here because it's so far away and gloomy and dank and just a bit weird. So let's, you know, let's put the, let's put the library here. We'll do that. Ready your tools. Okay, we need to make you real quick. Um, we need to capture all these outposts. We get a generous amount of resources when you're playing solo, because obviously this is meant for two-player. Um, but yeah, if you lose the Deeping Wall, then that's a lot of money down the drain. So as you can see, uh, just under eight minutes until the uh, army arrives. Um, but as I said, um, there are just regular Brutals to attack you. Alright, there's actually a lot to talk about, because it's been a while since I've actually done a video like this. Uh, a lot of my videos, as of late, have been, um, uh, whatchamacallits. Yes, they've been whatchamacallits. They've been, um, like, PvP games. They've been just, like, uh, live PvP games or casts. And, uh, you know, they're, they're a lot of fun. I wouldn't do them if they weren't fun. Um, but they're certainly different tonally, and they're different, um, uh, just, I don't know, with what I get to talk about and what I get to do than these kind of videos. I'm gonna keep leveling her up because she's awesome. Um, so yeah, this will be like a long video, maybe like an hour. Um, but yeah, we, we have a lot to talk about in that time, so here we go. Also, I'm gonna try my best, I'm gonna try my damnedest. Gildor, you actually get to go down here. Great or small. Um, but yeah, we're gonna try our damnedest to uh, hold the deeping wall. Let's be, let, let's be honest, my track record, uh, no matter the mod, no matter the version, my track record of keeping this thing intact is not good. Like, I think, I think, honestly, I think I'm sugarcoating it by saying it's not good. Um, so yeah. I'll try and keep it intact. Um, one thing that does annoy me about this map, and it's purely subjective, it's not like a legit criticism. Um, Guild Org, get in the damn wall, you bastard. And I always do that. Um, is that the default camera angle is like this. And I hate this angle because your camera becomes 90% wall. And uh, I'm always one for resetting my camera. Um, accidentally, of course. Um, so yeah, that's just... I, I have to resist the urge to do that. 
Um, and we're actually going pretty damn slow. Um, this always happens though, when I have lots of things to talk about, I always forget to do things. Anyway, so why, why are we playing Rivendell and not Rohan? We're in Helm's Deep. Well, I have been playing, I, I feel like even though I go random a lot, I have just been getting lots of Gondors and lots of, um, uh, whatchamacallit, a lot, lot of Gondors, a lot of Rohans. Um, so I just wanted to, uh, play a different faction, but also, uh, I think the best turtle is in the game, or I guess the best, maybe not the best defenses actually, I think Dogledore have better defenses, but the best archers for sure are, uh, from Rivendell. Actually, maybe the Sentinels, but, you know, R Rivendell's a close second, anyway. Um, uh, so yeah, I just kind of wanted to show off the power of the elves. And I know there's a lot of people, and myself included, a little bit, that, that aren't so keen on elves, you know? Um, but yeah, it, it's it's a little bit different, but also it gives me a chance to uh, talk about the faction, which is kind of cool. So anyway, they're going to queue up here, they're not going to do anything. They do bring up Siege later. and uh, But at the moment, we can just sort of siphon XP. XP by proxy. With his bow, Aragorn temporarily gains vision range. Oh, he just gives nearby ally speed. The thing to know with Strider for Aragorn is that he's definitely not vanilla, and he's definitely not um, the almighty thing you think he is. Like, he's very much Strider and not Aragorn. Like, he's very much the uh, the ranger in exile. And by that, I mean he's, like, significantly uh, more nerfed. His best ability is by far his last one, because he buffs uh, other heroes. And, uh, yeah, it's really important to buff heroes. Um, particularly in Age of the Ring, where heroes are actually really powerful. And I'm thankful for that. Okay, so we're going to build some towers behind the wall. And uh, we're going to have to stay vigilant uh, in our defense here, because... The AI like to bring a lot of siege towers. Oh, yeah, he just said, he just said, remain vigilant. Oh, yeah. We should probably hit S on them. But, um, what happens is, is that... When they dock the towers, where are they? Did they? No, I don't think they did. Um, but what happens is, is that your archers won't auto attack the ladders. They'll hit everything but the ladders. Um, so what happens is, is that you'll think your defense is fine, but then a unit cr crawls up the ladder and then you're fucked. Um, and while that's not such a big deal with Rivendell, because as I said, their, their defenses are so strong, um, it, you still want to keep the deeping wall if you can. So we're going to stay really vigilant, in theory at least. And, um... Um... I'm going to try and micro all the towers. And that's why I'm building heroic statues, because we won't always have leadership. So we need those, um... What do you call it? We need the, uh... Damage buff that these statues give us. Alright, we're going to all put them all aggressive, and then you hit S to make them stop. I feel like... I don't know if it's hard coded into the game, but I feel like in vanilla, even even if you used S to make them stop on the wall. Um, actually, you know what? I think Arwen's actually better down here. Sorry, Aragorn. It's not like she get she gives a buff to Aragorn. She gives a buff to everyone. She's a she's a harlot, I guess. Nah, I'm just kidding. All right, we're gonna use this. You can't move this, but this is an amazing tier two. It is pu it pu absolutely punishes clumpers. Oh fuck! Hold on. Remain vigilant. Okay, we need to start making some more troops. Alright, we might actually make another barracks here. I know it's expensive, but... I think we might be in trouble. Well, dandy for Gil... Galad. Taste no door and steel! Copyright music I'm deliberately singing over. So yeah, this might be the hardcore mode, because I don't know if I left ring heroes on. Um, I think maybe you have to capture the signal fire as well to um, uh, activate that. I'm not 100%. Um, it says in the description, so uh, if you're wondering what it is, then just read the map description, which is what I should have done, but don't worry. Alright, we're going to make the Breland encampment. Because I actually really like every unit from the Breland. Actually, that, that, that's another reason why I think... Rivendell. I mean, I think that they're they're a very strong faction. I think Dogledore is still by far the strongest faction in the game. Um, 
But I mean, I think Rivendell is the most complete, particularly thematically. And I think that also stems from the fact that um, I think uh, Rivendell is a definitely a faction favorite for a lot of the uh, uh, mod team. And yeah, that's just a guess, but I mean, they do have so much effort being put into them. And also they cover not just Rivendell, but basically all of Eridor. Um, we need the... Oh fuck, we really need the, the upgraded bows. But they cover like all of Eriador and not just Rivendell. So that also makes me think that they had extra fun uh, designing Rivendell. Because you get Brelanders, you get Hobbits, and you get the Dunedain, obviously. Alright, tier 3. We're not going to go for the Hall of Fire. We're going to go for... We've got Eladan and Elro here. They're actually good against Orcs, but not really here. Alright. So we've got the many meetings. And this seems really easy, but remember, the actual army hasn't really arrived yet. So we're just, you know, leveling the Fuku. Aragorn's level 8, which is amazing. He can't... He can only use with the sword equipped. That makes sense. Damn, Liv Tyler. You... Complete me. Um... Okay, we're just gonna make these. We're gonna make some glaives, man. We need to make sure we don't... No, we'll keep these guys in, re in reserve. Um, but yeah, Liv Tyler, or Arwen, <laughs> she's otherwise known as, really useful. She can stealth, but she, uh, at level 6, which is really easy to get to because you pay to level her up, uh, she actually, uh, it says stuns, but they, basically she puts them to sleep for a couple seconds, and it's a real short cooldown, and it's really useful. And then, this one, Power of the Even Star, which is really going to be useful in this map. Glorfindel, you go down here as well, boy. Um, she actually allows combatants to heal, or uh, units to heal when they're when they're in combat. So it's really damn useful that you're able to heal in combat because we're going to be in combat a lot. Building materials. We could cheese and just build a wall over the stairs here, but even I am not that cheap. So instead, we shall build some towers, ladder. All right, we're going to get level three dormitory because we're going to get veterans of the last alliance. Probably should have got them already. But as a wise man once said, we don't always get everything we want. Okay, it's always dark on this fucking map. I guess Helm's Deep took place during the night time. Well, whatever. At least it's not the Battle of the uh, Long Night or whatever the hell that shit was from Season 8. Wildmen getting wrecked. Wildmen were actually at the Battle of Helm's Deep. Uh, not in the film version, obviously, but... Hey, I think that would have actually undermined it um, for the theatrical release. I don't know how much you guys agree with me. And that is no Orkhorn, my friends. Alright, you must not fall. I'm gonna hotkey all these dudes. Actually, I'm just gonna hotkey the ones on my screen. I'm gonna do number two, though. And if you guys see... Ooh, there's battering rams. You know what, let's... Strangers from distant lands, friends of old. I'm not sure about this summon, honestly, because it's random. But if you get archers like I just did... And you summon in like that. Oh boy. I don't know. I just feel like the quality of units you get for tier 1. Or for tier 2 spell. Like compare these to the wolves of. Um, uh, Dorgledorm. Yeah there's. I mean it's obviously not the most accurate way to test it. Because I did summon it on an army. But you know what I mean. Like there are other spells that are way more consistent. You know. We're just going to put magic damage on these things. I, did I really make so many towers? Holy nipple clamps. Okay, we're waiting on this to get level 3. Well, yeah, let's have a look there. They are not getting anywhere close. The eye is fixed on Rivendell. So we've upgraded the library so these guys will heal outside combat. That's fucking cool. And also, um, these guys are leveled up so they'll heal uh, outside combat. Come on, you stinking Eric! You haven't got the stones to break my wall. It's a bit, a bit of frame drop. I am playing on high on a big custom map. That was probably my mistake, but hey, whatever. Please tell me that was it leveling up. Oh, we're so close. We need it though. We need it now. Actually, we could get this to because I think when you research, it also goes up. Um. So yeah. Let me see. What other upgrades do we need? 
Uh, this gives us an extra thingy. Reduce cost of upgrades. What is this one? Allow Great Company. We don't need that. Maybe I should get the Great Company. I was actually thinking of doing just a whole matchup to compare all uh, heroic units. Because I feel like some heroic units are much weaker than others. And that kind of needs to be addressed. Like, oh god, here comes the rain. But like, if you compare Veterans of the Last Alliance to like, Fountain Guard. Freaking, uh, I mean, I mean, I Fountain Guard have amazing passives. They make the Gondor Turtle even more turtler. Um, but in combat, the Fountain Guards are so bad. I mean, they're tanky, but they're so bad. And I kind of wanted to uh, do a little test. I might actually do that just to uh, uh, add more weight to my opinion, you know? If I can back up the bullshit I'm saying, then I don't think it stays bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, the power of the elves. Oh, I guess we could just quickly do this. I'm gonna hide. All right. I'm actually quite sad. They are uh, changing the portraits of a lot of these units. Um. Oh, we can get tier three now. That eco though. This gives us sweet, sweet eco. It gives us thirty percent more resources and armor. Um, but they're changing the portraits for a lot of these, and I love these portraits. And I've seen the new ones on like the Age of the Ring streams. And particularly the Veterans of the Last Alliance, they're using the same portrait that a Dane uses on their Battle Masters. And these portraits are so much better! But, you know, they're, they're not going to change their mind on something like that. Glorfin, I think you should go down here. Holy shit. That's so many dudes. Holy crap. Okay. We need to, we need to focus the crossbowmen, otherwise we're not going to live. Okay, um, we don't have the tornado. Glorfindel doesn't get the XP boost until level, uh, 7. Which is annoying as crap. Alright, I don't see ladders yet. Oh, ho, ho! That dog of mine. Yeah, this is definitely hard mode. There shouldn't be this many ladders. Yeah, Deeping Wall's gonna fall. Yep. Yep. This is bad. You guys were all waiting. You guys were all waiting for the moment when I... Okay, just get rid of that one. Get rid of that. Come on, come on, come on. We don't have time for this! We're gonna, we're gonna queue it up. Because we just have to. It can glitch where the ladders sort of disappear. Um, but I don't think it's... I don't really know how you fix that. Alright, Glorfindel, glow. Iru sent you back for a reason. Or is it Mandos? I forget. Someone sent him back. I'll pretend to care. Oh, actually, we still have Liv Tyler. What this do? There you go. The crownless again shall be awesome. It's a bit slow. But I wanted... I've, I've been playing on low so much recently. I will put up with the frame drops for this. I will not wax away. Okay, there we go. I choose a mortal life. Alright, there's a tornado. Probably didn't need the tornado, actually. Yeah, you. Get in there. Okay, any more ladders? Oh my god, way more ladders! There's beauty yet unmarred. But man, these elves need to shut up! Plays Rivendell, tells elves to shut up. That's pretty much it. So look, are they are they against the wall here? I should have used it. Shit. I hear like a drill going off outside. Oh! Okay, you know what? We're doing it now. I know it's soon. I know it's premature. But I'm not yielding this. Oh, it came in through the wall. I was like, did it bug out? These guys are fully upgraded, and they're nasty. And Gildor is the only one on the right flank. Gildor, get your skinny elf dick in there. Our lands are in trouble. We'll just do the glowy shit. Glorfindel, I'm gonna use up my heal on you. How can fire undo stone? Will! 
You know what? You know what undoes stone? Arrows. Saruman's really good. Lots of awesome offensive spells. His drawback, though, is that he is weak as fuck when you get in close. And if you look at Gandalf, Gandalf is not weak as shit when you get in close. Uh, they're hitting the wall. The wall, the door, the gate. The fuck did I say wall for? Free Devil, are you, are you high? Well, yes, but... When am I? When am I not high? I'm sorry if you can hear that. Someone's decided to just cut a tree down on the the very hour I've decided to record this. <laughs> but you know, whatever. Okay. Glorfindelion. I feel like we lost a lot of archers here. They could just be clumped. Where is that damn ballista? I don't think they can reach that. We did well destroying all the gates, though. I'm quite proud of that. Twenty six. Okay. You know what? We're gonna go the other tier four. I don't think he can one shot. Siege. But he must be tier 4 for a reason. I think Sonic Song must do it. Sonic Abua! If you guys ever played Street Fighter back in the day. Okay, it does. Uh, Old Man Willow. Which you can actually see if you go and play Lord of the Rings Online. I highly recommend you do. Just subscribe first. The game is not complete without it. Okay. Ballista, there you are. I didn't hit you very hard. I don't have any archers on this side. Don't we have loads of thingies, uh... They're all level 5, they've got Arwen buffing them. I'm not gonna move them, I know, I know it looks nicer when they're not clumped. <laughs> but it, it seems to be winning. Uh, old Tom Bombadil. If we time the Sonic song, we might actually get the ladders in there. Nice, big Bombi. This is also a great way of getting awesome screenshots. You just need to not level up anything. Get those annoying dots in the screenshot. And we need to be thankful that these ladders have no health. And we can just hold alt and queue up moves. Wait, you're taking damage? So I think the fact that he can make himself invulnerable is a big reason why he's tier 4. Because the summons in Age of the Ring last a long damn time, and sometimes I think they last a little too damn long. Um, yet another reason why uh, Doggledore is OP as fuck in this mod. Uh, the Leshen lasts way too long, if you were asking me. Which I know they're not. I love how he rolls his R there. Classically trained actors, you can't beat him, can you? There are a few of us left. Indeed there are. The last thought says. <laughs> Alright, go with that. Man, Rivendell's making this easier. Okay. Uh, Hall of Fire. Gain armor. Immune to terror. Nearby Revelers' power recharge time is a decrease. Oh, I didn't know that. Revelers are actually good. I never really used them um, until a PvP game recently, and they're actually really good. I would highly suggest... The thing with Revelers, they're def you don't have to use their abilities. It's just their default attack is uh, like a ranged siege move. And I didn't realize that. I think Bombadil... Oh shit, more ladders. But uh, yeah, I didn't realize that. I thought you had to just wait for their spell to cool down. But no, they do damage. And they have like an eco boost thing, which is cool. Alright, the Grey Pilgrim. Because of course Rivendell get the Grey Pilgrim. Let's actually have a look here. The gate must be down already. No, nope. I'm not going to rebuild it. I want... Let me see. There's a big clump of them there. I guess I could kill this ballista just to make him annoyed. Or just to annoy him. So he has loads of abilities in this. You shall not pass is just a knockback because he's getting off the grey. But he does have foe hammer, which is what I want Ganoff the white to have. Prepare for battle is kind of cool. But... No one really uses that. Lightning Sword is the way you call it. And given how many offensive spells Saruman has, maybe... Maybe it's time again off the white for Gondor gets, um... Thingy. Please don't die! Just do your fireworks! Okay, that's all I ask. Thank you! Okay. There's five ladders there, just making love to the wall like perverts. We're gonna tell them to heal in combat? Even in star, does not wax away. Okay. Uh, we can put them to sleep again. Yeah, can we hit them here? 
There they go. Yeah, beautiful. I didn't hit you very hard. So there's a blister there, which is annoying. Can't really deal with that. We've expanded the fortress. Well, la di da. You know, Elrond, you'd be level 10 if I put you there. And sorry, I was like stifling a fucking hiccup or a cough or something there, so that's why I went to 10. Okay. I gotta hide. I was trying to say it the way Destroyer says it whenever he has to play Elves in 202. He goes, Dang, I don't hide. He goes really high pitch. I love it. All right. And you know what? They're 30. We'll make one Reveler just so I can show you how cool they are. They're so cool, I'm only going to make one. Evil has spread across these lands. Oh, shit. No, get your banners first. Cancel that, Glorfindel. There we go. This has been real. Apart from that. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, basically, if you don't micro hitting the towers, if you don't do that, then this is, oh god, then this is a lot more clusterfucky, because these guys are tanky as fuck, this is late game Uruk you're fighting here, but so long as you just micro hitting the towers, it's easy. What makes it difficult is that it's just a bit annoying to have to micro all that, but as you can see, by selecting your archers and then holding alt and just right clicking all the towers... Uh, it makes life uh, a lot easier. So we're going to hold Alt, right click, right click, right click. Rinse, repeat, your dick. What he said. What does this actually do? Does it attack speed? Oh, it is attack speed. Oh, I've been playing this game too long. I knew that. Holy shit. All right. Uh, got all that. We're going to get Farmer Maggot. Actually, you know what? I'm going to crash my game. Fuck it. <laughs> Random thought, I know, but hey, we've got the money and this is easy. We've got building supplies. The scribes have translated building supplies coming. Oh, good for the scribe. Happy G Oh my god. Face I think the more ladders you kill, the more they send. And yeah, when they're when they're sort of like at an angle, I think they still are. Um, whatchamacallit. I think they still are... Uh, I, I think they, when they're at an angle, they are actually mounted on the wall. It just doesn't look like they are, you know. This ballista needs to stop. Basically, I'm actually healing... With the innate healing of the elves, plus with Arwen here, and with the well, <laughs> and with everything else, I'm healing three ballista damage. This is hilarious. And we're on 40 points. Uh, you know, we'll get the Sons of Elrond. Okay, we actually have everything. <laughs> Uh, we get them from the Dunedain camera, right? No oh, numbers are too great. Uh, let me see. Oh, this could work. Have they got any chips? No, shut up, Ori. Who did we summon there? I forget. Oh, it's Gil Galad. They all do the same thing, but it's just kind of cool that you can summon like a specter of them. It's a real uh, interesting uh, ability. I think Samus Jenkins voices the Revelers. It sounds a lot like him. Alright, we have not seen the mines yet. I think, knowing how good this defense is, I might have actually killed the mines. I think it was when... How can fire undo stone? Elrond's level 7. Let's have a look at the front gate. Have they broken through yet? They passed this way. The day before yesterday. Where is my reveler? There they are. So yeah, second ability. Actually increases orchard production. And then there is their uh, siege move. What is this one? Passively decreases speed and attack damage. Oh my god. Stay a while and listen. Oh my god, Diablo. Um, Yeah, no. Go for revelers. Just get them. And they cost... Uh, um, but it costs many uh, command points, so that's kind of cool. Okay, we're not going to defend the right. kind of feel bad for the Urukai at this point. But they sent another blister. I'm going to use up my tier 2 on them. Oh, here we go. I'll go straight into the... into the. Oh, it doesn't insta-kill Siege! Well, there's a trick. Yeah, good luck with that, elves. 
All right, all are done and all are here. This ramp is yours. Protect it with your dicks, or don't come back. That will depend on the manner of your dicks. Okay, there's a lot. See, this would ordinarily be a big deal. But one, we've just slaughtered everything before us. <laughs> no, stop hitting me, you bastard. Eh, well, whatever. I'm gonna go back to crashing my game. Uh, okay. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Upgrade. I guess... Oh, no, I don't even have the command points to crash it. I just realized that. Oh, well, in the off chance that we lose our army and we get command points, then we'll do it. We do not stand alone. Uh, does this stealth us? Wait, no, I'll stealth us. If I do this, right? If I do this, we're stealthed. I guess they can still see Arwen. I wonder if the blister... Yep, the blister can't see us now! Oh, that... yeah, but he's going for Arwen. Well, Guvenstein, but he's in range. Where there's a whip. There's a whip. Uh, where's our well? There's a well. Not gonna lie, it's kind of a dick move. Alright, front gate. Almost down, okay. Basically, I'm not really defending this bit. We're just gonna have, um... We're going to have veterans of the Last Alliance on hold ground stance here. And I want to see if they can stop them. I mean, I think they will. Do I have a builder here? Yeah. But I still want to... I still want to see if they can do it. Uh, you. No, we don't want you. We want... Andoril. Flame of the West. Alright, now the reason why we're getting the Hobbit encampment is because Fatty Bolger at level 2 gets a call to hold for Hobbit units. If I'm a maggot level 2, gets a nice, sweet, sweet eco boost. May our weapons be true. May our weapons be true. Alright, it's raining and we've got the debuff. Oh no. Oh no. I didn't see this one. Look at them piling. Archers! Destroy it. No, not that one. This one. I can't hit the ladder. There's too many Uruks on it. No, I can't take my grog. Okay, there's that one gone. I think I was talking in the wall there. This one, the ladder. Well, this was unexpected. Shut up, fatty, you bastard. Alright, Glorfindel. Go Kyro Ken. Okay, I think the ladder. Oh, that was close. Okay. Yeah, you see how difficult it can get. Let's have a look here. I think they're broken through. And the first wave. <laughs> Wheel! Yeah, let's get some... Vi if this guy gave AoE vision, that'd be hilarious. Oh, here we go. This doesn't just buff heroes. You also get... Um, I think you need level 9. And Anduril, yeah. Damage and speed. Could they glow anymore? Can they glow anymore? Bloody chosen of Iluvatar, my sweet dick. Yeah, make him glow. Damn you, Eru. Look for my coming at first light on the fifth day. At lawn. <laughs> at, at lawn? At dawn. Look to my lawn. Oh, I see. Oh, okay, cool. And I hit the fucking camera reset. Ow, Ballista. I'm going to keep saying ow. You will regret coming Is that Salada? That's a banner carrier. He hit the fucking... That's an amazing shot, dude. It'll soon be time for the harvest. Hell yeah, it will be, boy. Alright, uh, where's that Ballista? You. Strangers. From distant lands, friends of old. Summon you to answer the threat of Mordor. Oh, then what are we waiting for? This ring cannot be destroyed by any craft we here possess. It was made in the fires of Mount Erebor. JK. Alright, go with that. We're gonna leave this Banakari alive. He can be the messenger. He can tell the other bears what he saw. Oh, here we go. Fatty Bulger. So this is it. 
Fear fire foes. As you came screaming back to uh, report that there's some uh, shadowy figures about. Um, we get called a horde. It's for hobbit units, not Breland units. Um, but yeah, if we had the command points, we could literally just spam out hobbits like uh, orcs. And we can summon the farm. Which I think ticks four times. No, it ticks five times, and I think you get 200 resources a tick. I think, so it's like a thousand each time. Part of me wants to let him on the wall. But I know if I lose a deeping wall... I mean, you guys already don't let me forget about it, so... Oh, we get a hundred, and it ticks five times. I think we get 500, not a thousand. Hey, they actually broke through! With battering rams! Eladon and Eldor here! Might actually do something. Can you make him glow again? Nine. Are there any other heroes up here? Nope, just that. Stay a while. Yeah, we'll buff this orchard. There we go. So this orchard with the buff is giving us... This one's only level two, though. Plus 18. It wasn't in the best spot, and it was only level two. I do not fear the Wait. Gildor, why are you hit... Okay, Gildor's meant to be on the deeping wall. He seemed to abandon his post. Um, uh, I don't know how they're destroying these towers. It's actually kind of annoying, <laughs> honestly. Uh, Glorfindel? Maybe I want to use your level 10 sometime today, so get level 10. Look at that. Actually, you know what? Elrond's level 10. Glorfindel, switch with Elrond. The northern lands are under siege. The northern lands are under siege. Well, they've really got no chance. I'm just healing faster than they can ever do damage to me. Lathiel! I will watch the main causeway in a sec. I just want to destroy these towers. Uh, let's have a look here. Nope, they're still at the gate. Fun fact, this is uh, Eladan. But this portrait here was actually a fan art of Arista. So Age of Dring's trying to pull a fast one on you. Trying to pull a sneaky. Or a stanky. Gandalf, do you insta-kill siege when you pop out? I need to I need to know these things for PvP. No, you do not. I didn't... Maybe he did. I don't know what killed that there. I was just walking with Gandalf. How did that one die? Sorry, do you have a passive where you just eliminate siege? What the hell? How are they blowing up? I don't see the archers going in. Does anyone know why that was echoing there? That was... That was kind of weird. Uh, we can buff archers <laughs> for Rivendell. Um, and then we can heal. He's actually got a... He's actually got a real good repertoire. He just dies quickly. <laughs> got yourself lost. I didn't hit him very hard. Okay, level 8. I would do... I would do the Light of Amon, but... Um... They're already all level 5, so... <laughs> What's the point? Is this ability back? No. Look at this. I don't know what that... I don't know what this is. What is that... What is that effect from? Oh, there are musical notes. This just became a Banjo kazooie game. Increases experience gain of friendly units. Oh, that's what it is. Passively decreases cooldown of fall of fires. Okay. And then, yeah, this is the one I was looking at. Wargs actually made it up! You will regret coming here. <laughs> I know, I know Isengard's real strong late game, but if they have an Achilles heel, it's at War Riders. A s or well, they're awful. Behind you! Behind you. No, they're kind of getting through, but we want them to go up this round. I got veterans of the Last Alliance here just waiting. Alright. I didn't hit him very hard. Did we upgrade all this? I have building supplies. Okay. Uh, what's the shortcut? Oh, there is none. Alright, this can be... Oh, the sun is rising. Five, six... Seven... Oh no, should I just hit Alt-Tab? How the hell did I hit alt -tab? Okay, we didn't crash, we're good. Uh, six... Seven. 
and then eight. Wait, what was this one? Five, so we hit... Theroden, the horn of hell. I feel like we kind of undid the whole impact of this. Let this be the hour we draw swords together. Fell deeds awake. <laughs> now for wrath. Now for ruin. And the red dawn. Oh, it's Gore Kills all at home here. So basically, if you defend out long enough... For Theolingus! Theoden will recover his strength. And he will charge gallantly into the Isengard lines. And you do get control of them, but they are scripted to just run out. And I think they'd go into the enemy base. And you get Theoden with a bunch of level 5 full upgraded uh, Rohirrim, which is excellent. Excellent. Alright. So I think they're scripted to come here. And you can see on the map that big purple stream. And we can get ourselves an eagle if we wanted. So you get like three, six, I think you get like ten. No, way more than ten. You got like twenty battalions of Rohirrim. And both times I tried to click on the Rohirrim, I've hit uh, Theoden. Theoden King stands alone. And then Gandalf shows up. I think it's like 50 minutes you need to defend. I don't have the timer enabled, but uh, I think it's 50. Not alone. Row hit him! Do -do 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 -do. Although ammo is already in the battle, but hey, whatever. To the king! And right on cue, cloud break. So nice scripting there from Got Young. Farmer Maggot versus Fatty Bulger. The Age of the Ring versus we need. Oh, they are lingers. And what's that you say? He's got pikes? Fuck your pikes, I say. Fuck him! So basically. We get Theoden, but we also get Aomer and Gandalf. And we have control of everything, but if you're playing this in co-op, then the second player gets um, Aomer and Gandalf. And player one gets uh, Theoden, which is a cool touch. So, like, player one doesn't, you know, get all the uh, uh, cool stuff. Anyway, Theoden's Glorious Charge, I think... Uh, the armor... I don't think duration is affected, but yeah, armor is definitely affected by how many cavalry you use it on. Which is a cool little detail. And it's just like another little thing that Age of the Ring does well. Am I going the right way? I think I put him in this corner here. But I don't see no Eisenderp. Let's just have a look here real quick. And there's Holy God. But I don't see Aomer in there. I'm just going to attack order them there. Let this be the hour. Um. I think we'll just charge through and then we'll just one hit this fortress. Bit of a... Bit of a poor fortress for a brutal. I'm gonna hide. I don't think Earthquake, um, the tier 4 Earthquake that, um, man, that sound, I really hope that sound isn't gonna come through the mic, because it's so loud, it's, I even got all my windows closed and everything, but nope, still comes in. Um, I don't think the Dwarf tier 4 Earthquake does damage to units, and yet Flood does damage to everything. Um, I don't know, I have to check it, but that seems kind of annoying, honestly. See you, Builder. Get yeeted. So we could actually charge everything out. Golfendel didn't actually get level uh, 10, so let's send him out. But uh, this could have been a lot different and a lot harder if I wasn't microing those uh, ladders. And a small part of me, honestly, 
kind of wish I didn't. Because <laughs> losing the... If, if, if there's like... It's really easy, like, once they get on the wall, it's hard to then hit the ladders. Because there's so many irks in your way. So once they actually get control of the wall, it's hard to get it back. So that fight behind the wall can be really awesome. And I just realized I'm losing... Oh, shit. I just realized how many... Well, Please say we get the fortress. No way. Holy shit! How... I know you've got a lot of fire arrows, but still. No way. <laughs> Holy crap. Where's Glorfindel? Oh, you didn't even come out. God damn it, Glorfindel. Oh god, this one's got mine launchers. That's a brutal. Let's go to the other place. And I'm moving my camera the wrong way because it's not aligned properly because the default is... I'm not using the default camera. Okay. Now, the Ents should actually come to our aid. The Ents emerge uh, from the forest and just level everything. And I'm not sure what time they show up, but... Oh. <laughs> Speak of the devil. <laughs> and he shall appear, bruh. Okay. I've come back. Until I've been sent back until my task is done. So yeah, if you wanted a more fun experience, you could not be a, a big nerd like I was and just microwave the towers. Because uh, Rivendell or not, it's still late game Uruks, and the the crossbowmen will sit on the walls and just her like just hound you all game. Um, so yeah, uh, it can be really difficult uh, once you lose control of those walls, which is really cool. And uh, if you guys want it, we'll see how this video performs. But like, if you guys want it, um, I'll actually just do a keep only defense, where I just defend the uh, keep. Um, on this map, and we'll see what happens. Where's this builder going? He's pulling a sneaky on me. Alright, I... Th oh! If we just do far side here. Where are the ants? There's... Oh. Wait, what the hell? Oh my god, you... You suck! You charged through one pikes, and before I could get the heal... <laughs> I'll be honest, that wasn't meant to happen, but I'm not sorry it <laughs> I'm not sorry it did happen. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, the rage of the Ents. Do not underestimate it. There is a lot of Ents to come to our aid. I don't expect this fortress to last much longer. That was a shame about Glorfindel. There was one- there just happened to be one battalion of Ur Crossbowmen in formation. And even the my oh, shit! I have loads more troops in reserve. Um, yeah, and even the mighty Glorfindel couldn't couldn't withstand that. Uh, I didn't even get my freaking heal off. Let's see. No damage. No damage. No damage. No damage. No damage. But now we turn around and fight. They're level five and in formation. I can't even select them. I want to select him. There. Is that him? There's like five left. Okay. Oh, I see. And I think this is why the camera is default. Because look at all the magnificent ends. Let's just see how quickly this base goes down. Holy shit! It's like every tree became an ant suddenly. I am no tree. And we can't see it. God damn it! Uh, you don't have far sight. Well, you know what? Where does our vision go? Not for miles. We must stand against them. Some bombardel. Yeah, wild men are trying their luck. Yeah, level five Urukai failed, but yeah, you go get them. And that's the fortress gone. Holy shit, buckets! And I'm waiting for Glorfin to come back. Actually, should we just send in the rest of the regiment? There are few of us left. Not really. We're all we're all pretty safe up here. 
What do we have here? What do we have here? What's this? A ranger caught off his guard? Do not despair. Uh, no, you don't. You don't go there. In fact, you guys can just stay there. Uh, where's Bombadillo? Bombadil. So awesome, he has a beard. I don't know why that makes sense, but it does. Hark now and hear us. Surprised that, given how many Ents there are, I'm surprised the whole base isn't down, but hey. Whatever. He's even rebuilding the fortress. Come on, Ents. Oh, there it goes. The AI and their ability to get out heroes, or uh, builders, sorry, is really annoying. Pick up this building, and I think it should be done. Well, this guy should be done. How much does Sonic Son do to buildings? We have to try and gauge it with the Rahiram. Oh, yeah, Bumbledore's pretty good tier 4, but I think just for ease of use and guaranteed damage, you just go with Flood every time. And there we go. Alright, Ents. One more base. What's going on here? Beyond our range. There's no one here. The shadow must be stopped. Okay. Wait, why is there... Oh, I made a builder accidentally. There we go. Alright, he hasn't built much. I think Ents spawn like the entire breadth of the uh, uh, of the forest here. Those are our things. Alright, Rivendell Archers level 5. Let's explode. Let's explode a builder, shall we? There we go. I love how he just literally explodes. <laughs> There's Glorfindel. Here you can make it. We never got him level 10. I've actually never seen his level 10 on um, uh, on high VFX. I should just do it one time just so I can see. Because you guys all know what Gandalf's Word of Power looks like on high VFX. It's got like the extra uh, like bundles of white light just heading into the Word of Power. I kind of wanted to see what his looks like. But anyway, there's Victory. Um, I'll try and get a download link. I don't know if I have one. Um... Actually, I guess I could just take it from my map folder and then just put it on my um, my uh, Google Drive and we'll just see what happens. But um, yeah, that was Got Yum's, uh Custom Helms Deep Map. Let me know what you uh, thought in the comments below. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.